Good morning, everyone. It's about 8.20 a.m., and today I'm going to spend the whole day showing you around the most underrated ancient town in the Chengdu area. This is the wharf on the Wenjing River, Yuantong Gujian. So what makes Yuantong ancient town so underrated? Well, perfectly located at the convergence of three rivers, Yuantong is considered one of China's four major market towns. I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful morning here. The local shopkeepers are getting ready for the day. The smell of breakfast is in the air and there's a foggy haze covering the river. So I'm now standing on Huijiang Bridge. As a thriving river market town, Yuantong needed a way to support the flow of goods across the water. So in 1812, one of the townspeople built this 132 meter iron chain bridge. So in my research about Yuantong ancient town, the number one thing that stood out to me was this tower right here. And I have to say, the pictures and videos don't do it justice. Just the way this structure stands by the river gleaming in the morning sunlight is a sight to behold. As the morning progressed, I still had the town pretty much all to myself, and the views of Yuantong seemed to be getting more and more beautiful. I made a few turns and suddenly I was in the middle of a crowd of people. That's because I reached the center of the town, as landmarked by the ornate Shizu Tower. But that's not all for Yuantong's historical landmarks. Next, it's off to the Catholic Church. Catholicism started spreading in this area during the Qing Dynasty, and in 1903, a French missionary built this church. I'm standing in front of the entrance of Luo's courtyard, and this has caught my eye. Just take a look at the intricate designs carved into the worn rock. It looks like some thousand-year-old sacred temple. Of all the ancient towns I've visited so far, I think Yuantong has the best balance of liveliness and tranquility. The streets can get pretty crowded, and everywhere you look you can see steam from delicious foods cooking, grandpas with their chair pulled up somewhere drinking tea, and customers bargaining for a souvenir at the front of a shop. But at the same time, there are some areas that are just really relaxing and peaceful. Like if you go across the bridge, or some of the guild halls or courtyards, or if you turn down a side alley. When you come to Yuantong, one of the last things I recommend you do is go across the bridge where you can get a nice shot of the entire town. If you're interested in more breakdowns of Chengdu's amazing attractions, click here. And if you're interested in more Chinese ancient towns, click here. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.